the old man kills a rabbit every day. Curiously, he never ate the rabbit meat but delivered it to warehouse 36. However, every time the old man enters the warehouse, he hops three times like a rabbit at the door. He's been doing this for decades, as if it were some kind of ritual. On this day, the old man handles the rabbit as usual. He drops the rabbit's head on the floor and tries to bend down to pick it up. The next thing he knew, the old man had a heart attack and died. After the old man died, his warehouse was auctioned off by the warehouse manager. They thought the old man was old and that there must be a lot of treasure in there. The young people wanted to become rich overnight. That's when Nick bought the mysterious warehouse for four dollars million. But little did he know that what was inside would make him regret it. To be on the safe side, the warehouse manager took Nick to watch a video of the old man's life. Watching the old man's strange movements made Nick even more keen to find out what was inside the warehouse. So he paid a deposit, took the keys and left. But it's not as posh as Nick thought. It's just a pile of rubbish. He didn't want the four dollars million to go to waste. So he kept looking. Finally, Nick found a solid gold chandelier and a weird table. He rushed to an antique shop, thinking he'd get a good price for it. But the owner said the candlestick was worthless, and that she thought the table was worth something. So the owner called Lionel. Lionel knew it was an exorcism table, but he was even more excited when he saw the books inside. Because these books can make someone an excellent exorcist. But he remembers there are four exorcism books. Lionel said that if Nick could find the fourth book, he would give him five million straight away. He pays part of the sum on the spot. Nick was immediately delighted. They returned to the warehouse with Lionel on the spot. But little did they know that their movements were being monitored by an old woman. The old man cuts a rabbit every day. Curiously, he never ate the meat himself, but sent it to warehouse 36. Nobody knew what was in the warehouse. But when the old man went out, the meat was no longer in his bag. And every time he left, he jumped three times before leaving. They decided to go to the warehouse to see what monsters were hiding there. They arrived at the warehouse and searched for two days and a night. The two men found nothing of value, nor anything frightening either. Nick first had to get rid of a few useless items, but little did Nick know that his every move was being watched by the old woman. It seems there's a secret in the warehouse. They searched the warehouse again and suddenly discovered a secret room. Curiously, Lionel looked very nervous and had even picked up a candlestick out of fear. He lit the candle just as the iron door was opened. Lionel said that lighting the fire would protect them and stop Nick wandering around the room and not to scream if Nick saw something scary. At that moment, Nick's mind was only thinking about making money and wasn't listening to Lionel's words. When the door opened, they smelled a foul odor. As they entered, they discovered runes and crosses all over the walls. It was a frightening sight, but at the back of the room, they found a hollowed out female body. It looked like something was writhing inside her skull. <laughs> Look, you got this. I'm going for the book. No, stop! Don't! Man paid for creepy warehouse, but nobody knows what's inside. They know what's inside is definitely not human. Nick went to the warehouse with a mod on to find out what kind of monsters were there. When he entered the room, he went straight for the most valuable exorcism book. But Nick didn't realize that the formation beneath his feet had been shattered. In the next second, the light from the candle went out instantly and the suppressed demon came back to life. At this point, Nick was so frightened that he hid behind the mother, but the magician didn't react and remained frouncing in place. In the next second, the magician was swallowed by the monster. Seeing the exorcism book burning in his hand, Nick hurriedly threw it away and started to run. It turns out that the old man was a member of a cult. To suppress the demon, the old man had sacrificed his sister to the demon, and he had fed the demon rabbit heads to stop it appearing. Nick saw the demon awaken and ran away. But he couldn't lose the demon. Everywhere he ran, he saw the demon following him. Nick eventually found the exit, but it was locked by someone else. By the end of the story, Nick has been swallowed by the monster. So this story teaches us that a gentleman should take what he wants. Don't take what you shouldn't, or you'll end up in trouble.